guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we are going to take a look at the STR GT Dragon Fist Goku here. Um, I think that this character would make for a nasty, well, I mean, damn, I'm going to say like a Dokkan Festella or something like that. Although, I mean, they really did take a huge chunk of this character and put it into the 8th Anniversary LR. This, of course, is the Goku that defeats um, Super Android 17, but I mean, they always, um, th they definitely will, will release that like this as like its own unit. Maybe it'll be a Goku N18 or something, but, uh, I imagine that, you know, even though they took a lot of this character for the 8th anniversary LR, um, you know, we'll be able to, uh, get it represented well again. So let's go ahead and give him a sticker, right? He is a newer character right here. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see how effective this guy is going to be. I do like what they did. Remember that this is a sub EZA character. I've seen some confusion on what that sort of means. There's LRE. Okay, so basically there's, I think, four tiers of EZAs. You have Dokkan Fest LR EZAs. You have LR EZAs. You have Dokkan Fest TUR EZAs. I guess then you would have sub EZAs, and then there's also free to play EZAs. So there's like five levels of EZAs, right? Dokkan Fest LR EZAs are different. Those characters oftentimes compete for top five overall. Um, Dokkan Fest TUR EZAs typically are very good options for teams. Same with LR EZAs. You could almost probably make those interchangeable. LR EZAs and Dokkan Fest TUR EZAs. Then just like normal banner units just all fall under the class like sub EZA. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're useful. Sometimes they're ass. I think that this Goku will be useful. Um, he does guard for the first three turns, which I think is very effective. Um, I think that that's a strong mechanic. And it should allow this Goku to be um, quite uh, a helpful option for Super Battle Road Sages, Battlefield, things of that nature. All right, guys. So we are here in an event. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got with the GT Goku. Um, so I brought this Super Saiyan 2 Goku. This guy could be okay-ish. Again, okay-ish, uh, depending upon the style of fight that we're rocking right here. All right, so GT Dragon Fist Goku. So real quick link set here. All in the family, Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, experienced fighters, prepare for battle, GT fierce battle. So we have a lot of his links activated. So only at 148k defense. Let's see. Um, he gets 100% attack and even start a turn. 180% attack and then 80% defense on super. High chance to crit. He guards uh, all attacks for the first three turns. And then he gets three key and attacks guaranteed to hit against one enemy. And then against GT bosses enemies, he gets a 50% chance to crit and a 50% chance of 50% attack. Okay. And then his super attack effect, he's getting 30% attack and defense. All right. Sure, sure, sure. Um, let's go and take a look at what Goku will give us right here. Um, this is a pretty decent opening rotation right here. Uh, so we're going to have everything up except for Saiyan Warrior Race and Experienced Fighters. We'll get a little bit of extra stats from Bulma's support right there. Now, remember, this guy is guarding for the first three turns. I mean, I, I think that the value of this character is in the three-turn guard. Um, I don't think that this unit really, besides that, no. I, 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 I don't really think that he's going to be too crazy. I mean, just looking at his opening stats, 8.4, okay. I mean, this is with all in the family up. We have Bulma support, right? We had GT, we had prepare for battle. Like, we had a lot of his stuff up right away. And, I mean, that defense was looking pretty low, right? Like, what was it, 140? Like, it's like, he... I don't know, man. That 180% attack on Super is good. But he probably should have gotten 180% attack and 180% defense um, on Super. I, I don't know why it's 180% attack and then 80% defense. Because it's like, once we get past... Like, these first two turns where he's guarding, right? Because, again, he guards for the first three turns. That's going to net us two rotations where he's guarding. Once that's done, it's... A hey, we got his nullification. I've been having bad luck with those beam nullifications recently. Good to see one of those. But uh, we'll have to be careful, man. I Again, I, I do kind of like the fact that they gave us a character who's got a little bit of ability. Um, in that the fact that he can have that guard for the first three turns. You know, he could be useful... Super Battle Road, Burst Mode, Battlefield type things. But um, I definitely think it's important not to go too crazy about this guy. So another decent rotation right here. Essentially kind of the same thing. He's at 171 right here. Remember, he is going to get Yadroby support to kick in. 
um, after Yadro, we get uh, orbs in slot three right here as well. Mm, I mean, we're also juicing him up with a lot of support. I mean, we could go fight a GT boss's character and we can get a little bit more stats for Goku, but I mean, already we've basically seen what this Goku has to offer, huh? Um, I'm not really too sure where I might use this guy. I, 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 these days I really do like to give, you know, even these like sub EZ level characters, I like to give them their stickers, you know, I like to give them like good equips, you know, make their builds, I think, effective potentially to use, but, um, I, I don't know if this Goku is really super duper crazy, right? Um, oh, one thing, actually I didn't mention that he does have a high, he has a high chance to crit. I mean, that's... Sure, I'll take a high chance to crit, of course, but, like, that alone, eh, like, that doesn't, I, like, that high chance to crit, oh, it would be so good if we're on, like, a really good character, right? Like, when we're just, like, on, like, a sub easy level character, and, oh, he's got a high chance to crit, it's like, uh, yeah, cool, <laughs> awesome, man, awesome, the, the, you know, at the very least, he can do damage, I, I, I guess, right? Eight million attack stats. And then he's got the, the guard for the first couple of turns. But I'm not looking at anything from this Dragon Fist Goku right here. That's really impressing me. We love we love the super attack dodge, by the way. W, W. Yes, get those super attack dodges in, baby. We love that shit. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Always dodge. I love it. Too good. Too good. Okay. Let's see what we get right here. All right. So... Um, this is going to be a good rotation that will have all seven links activated. Sure, we'll take that. So, I mean, this will probably be the best rotation we're going to see just sort of in this initial run like this. I think we'll probably do this, and then after this, we will cut, and we'll come back and see Goku. We, we got to get him against a GT boss's enemy and see if we can't get a rotation where he gets that extra 50% attack to pop. Um, actually, okay, so... He has a high chance to crit, so he's got a 50% chance to crit. And then, when he's facing a GT boss's enemy, he gets another 50% chance to crit. So he has guaranteed crits against GT boss's enemies. And then the high chance of the 50% attack. Okay. Um, I don't know that that's really going to mean much. I mean, can this guy be used in, like, the, you know, the Sin Shenron and Omega Shenron fights in the Shadow Dragon event? I mean, I would, I would say no. I... Maybe this, I mean, dude, this go. I feel like this Goku, once that guard wears off, I mean, you get to that last phase, even against Sin Shenron, where Goku would have type advantage, and I don't, I, dude, I don't think he'd be doing anything impressive whatsoever against that Sin. I think that Sin would be busting out those AoE normals, and he would tear Goku's ass up. I don't think that Goku would be able to do a damn thing against Sin, so, yeah, he, he's definitely not that crazy. I'm going to give a little bit of respect to the three-turn guard. I, I feel like there will be spots where we could get value out of that. But again, uh, this Goku doesn't look that crazy to me. Guys, we're over here in an event a little bit more fitting for Goku. A Dokkan event. Yeah. His, uh, Goku's talents will be on full display here in a Dokkan event. Uh, the 200k per normal by Goku in a decent situation certainly did not impress me very much. All right. Um, let's go ahead and, I guess, see what damage Goku's going to get right here. Um, now, unfortunately, we're not going to have, like, one of these GT characters linked up with him. Again, we're in a Dokkan event. So, I mean, every phase is going to last one turn. 7.94 right there. Okay. We're going to get, again, a little bit more footage of him. I'm probably going to do maybe, like, two runs against GT boss Dokkan event type enemies. Um, and then we're we're going to finish up, right? We'll, we'll see if we can notice him getting the 50% attack buff going up against one of these GT bosses characters. Again, remember, Goku does have a 100% chance to crit against these GT bosses characters, which, of course, is pretty good. Um, I do like that uh, definitely quite a bit. Okay, sure. We'll go ahead and do a lot of damage with Bulma. Bulma's support is activated. Oh, a weapon super. There we go. Yes. 
I'm gonna get that weapon super title eventually. I, dude, I still haven't gotten it. But again, I, I, I mean, I explained to people that I haven't been grinding it. But one day I'll get it. All right, hopefully Goku can give us a little bit better this time. All right, Goku, man. I mean, we got Bulma support up, right? We got Yadrobi support up. Uh, show us what attacks that you can get, buddy. Old best buddy. Let's see this impressive damage, Goku. And Goku gives us a 8.16. All right. Let me get just like one more turn with him linked next to a GT unit for this. And then we're going to finish up. All right, guys. We're going to get two more solid rotations in right here. Now, keep in mind, this is the SSR for 17 and 17. This unit does not have GT bosses. Remember, the SSR is not on GT bosses, right? Um, so keep that in mind. This rotation, again, is not with GT bosses. Um, we have every attack link up next to the 8th Anniversary LR, so we'll see what they do. Again, we, you know, we got Bulma support, we got Yadrobi support, um, but what we're gonna see is, you know, not this turn, but next turn. Actually, 12 million. I, it, am I wrong on that? I thought that they weren't on... Let me just double, let me just quickly double... I mean, I can fact check that in two seconds, but, uh, they're not... The SSR for that character is not on GT bosses, isn't it? Oh my god, that'd be so embarrassing if I'm wrong yet again. Look at me. Bro, how wrong can I be all the time? I, 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 dude, my ego can't take us. No, they're not. On, they're not. They're not. They're, they are not on GT bosses. So that damage we got from Goku, that was... That's without the GT bosses buff? I, 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 it has to be, yeah, because the, the SSR for that character is not on GT bosses, the 17 and 17 SSR. The, the That unit was, right? And then, of course, now going into the next phase, of course, we're you know going up against Super 17. He also... Um, is on GT bosses. So, all right. Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and get some good stuff from our boy Goku right here. Uh, we have all seven, but remember, that that just gets us all in the family, which is just defense anyway. So, this is Goku with all links up. Uh, remember that Goku does guaranteed uh, crit against a GT boss's enemy, so he will one-shot Super 17 right here. It's canon! All right, let's see what Goku gets up to. And Goku's at 14.9. That's our high mark right there. 14.9 with a guaranteed crit. So you can see some of the shenanigans at play for this GT Dragon Fist Goku here. All right, guys. This is Victory Clincher Goku GT. His leader skill is Super STR Type Key 3 and 110% of stats. A weird number right there, but it doesn't matter. I mean, these characters are not running as leaders anyway. Maybe you could... I mean, you could use that in Battlefield, I guess. Yeah, you could. I mean, yeah, that's a... You could use this guy as a Battlefield character. Because, I mean, he would have the guard for the first three turns, which could help a little bit. And then the good leader skill. Yeah, yeah, he's a great Battlefield leader. He real, This guy really is a good Battlefield character. Okay, pretty good. Um, His super attack is the Dragon Fist, which raises attack and defense by 30% for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy, and then greatly lowers enemy defense. His passive skill, Quick Thinking in a Pinch, gives him 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 180% attack and 80% defense when performing a super attack. That's the huge L right there. I think I'd like this guy much better if that was 180% defense as well and not just 80, right? Uh, then Goku has a high chance to crit, just baseline, which is good. Uh, then he also guards all attacks for the first three turns. I do like that. That gives value for, you know, easy A, Super Battle Royale, Battlefield type stages for sure. Uh, and then Goku gets three key and attacks are guaranteed to hit so the enemy cannot dodge him when facing one enemy. It is pretty common, I would say. Um, well, well, at least, you know, a lot of Omega Shenron bosses uh, do dodge, actually. So, if you're going to use this Goku against some of these Omega Shenron bosses, he can't dodge him. Um, I mean, I guess that's a thing. And then, still, I mean, if there's one enemy and it's a GT boss's enemy, he gets a 50% chance to crit, and then he gets a 50% chance of 50% attack. Uh, his links are all in the family, Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, experienced fighters, prepare for battle, GT fierce battle. I do think his link set is quite good. Um, he's got some good stuff right there. 12 key multiplier is 150%. That is high. That's normal Dokkan Fest level. Okay. Remember that this character, when he originally released, actually was a Shattering the Limit unit, believe it or not. Um, but, I mean, he awakens with Story Event medals and Dokkan Fest medals. So they did eventually give him Fierce Battle, right? Uh, and then finally, uh, Goku is on a lot of teams. And he's on a lot of 200% teams. This guy's on Tanabata LR Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. 
uh, EGL Carnival Goku, the STR GT Goku Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, STR Carnival Goku, Vegeta and Trunks, Tech 23rd World Tournament Goku, Int Yamcha, Tech DBZ Bardock, and Tech Pan. Goku is on all nine of those 200% leader skills. Um, then Goku is on the full power team. That's good. You know, full power buffs are always nice. We'll definitely take that. Uh, Goku is also over here on the pure Saiyan category team, one of the most ridiculous teams ever, of course. Uh, Goku is also on Goku Family, another ridiculous team. Goku is here also on final trump card. You know, you never know. Maybe this guy could be useful for some sort of mission or something like that with that three-turn guard. Could be. Uh, then, Goku is also over here on the Battle of Wits category team. That's decent. You know, another option to that team. We'll definitely take that. Uh, Goku's also over here on the Turtle School category team as well. Very strong team. Uh, then Goku is also on the GT Hero team. I am always... These days, I really appreciate GT buffs whenever we get them, so that's good. A lot of the most fun times in Dokkan history were GT celebrations. Uh, then Goku is also on the Bond of Friendship category team. That, of course, is Tech Pan's team right there. Um, then Goku is also on the Accelerated Battle category team. Sure, sure, sure. Then Goku is also on the Battle of Fate category team. That's how he gets on the 8th anniversary LR, uh, well, one of their leader skills. Uh, Goku's also on the Bond of Parent and Child. Um, and then finally, Goku's on probably the best category, Earthbred Fighters, Warriors Race on Earth, whatever we're going to call it. So there we go. There's just GT, uh, Dragon Fist Goku, um, easy A character. Uh, my official grade is he's mid. <laughs>